channel. So today, as you guys requested, we're gonna do a cooking video because as uh, you know, maybe I'm a chef, so what I do for a living is basically cooking, okay? So uh, Sam is with me, she's just right there. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> but it's just that we don't need her today to cook, so she's not gonna be on camera. You don't need me. No, I don't need you, but whatever. Wow. Okay, so guys, let's get to the point. So today, what we're gonna do, our recipe will be some salmon, as you can see. So we're gonna do some salmon with a, a, a garlic sauce, okay? And then we're gonna do some uh, kind of ratatouille. So you guys maybe have uh, heard this name before, or maybe you heard about the movie. Uh, so it's a French dish uh, made out of uh, vegetables. So today what we're gonna use is uh, some salmon. So this recipe is gonna be for two people. Uh, we're gonna have some salmon right there to uh, to the fillet of salmon. Then we're gonna have some potatoes. The herbs is some thyme. We're gonna have some lemon, uh, red bell pepper, garlic, some rosemary, some onions, eggplant, uh, zucchini, tomatoes, and some parsley. Okay, so this is our ingredients today as well. We're gonna use some uh, olive oil some salt, pepper, and here I got some uh, white vinegar. So that's only for our sauce. So what we're gonna start with uh, right now is our uh, vegetables. So uh, because it's gonna, that's why it's gonna take us the uh, longest time to make. So let's start straight with the vegetables. All right guys, so let's get to it. So now uh, let's start with the potatoes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is basically peel those potatoes so we don't want the skin. Here are our potatoes. Yeah, our potatoes. That was quick, right? Hi. I'm good. Alright, so let's do the onion now. Alright, guys, so nobody wants to see me cutting vegetables, right? So let's do it. Here you go. See that? I cut them. So let me just show you the size real quick. You see? That's how I cut all my veggies. Same size, all of them, so I can cook the exact same way. Alright? So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna build that thing, we're, I'm gonna get that plate, plate that goes to the oven. Don't take a plastic plate, it's gonna melt in the oven, so I make a mess. Okay? So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna build that thing and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do layers of vegetables. What we're gonna start right now is to put some uh, oil on the bottom, okay? So our potatoes, I'm not gonna stick to the, the, pl uh, the plate, okay? So now we're gonna build up our potatoes just like this we put them one by one try to make it look nice so now I got my potatoes okay so now what I want to do is to put some salt some seasoning some pepper and a little touch of oil there you go so now I'm gonna keep going with my onions. So I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? I'm gonna put my onions. Here we go. Okay. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add a little seasoning to it. Because we want those onions to taste good, okay? Then what we're gonna use is some thyme, guys. So what we're gonna do is basically take this and get it off. Put it on our onions and potatoes. That's what we want. Because we want this flavor to basically be on our potatoes and the onions. Okay? Sometimes. So you guys can buy this and you can grow this as well at home. That's what I do. I got my hair out outside. So whenever I need some thyme, whenever I need some parsley, I can just go outside. Get some herbs, that's what I did today. You see, I, I got also some rosemary and some parsley because I'm gonna use those herbs later on in my recipe. So, now that I put my thyme, okay, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of olive oil. So, I like that. This is my own olive oil that I made. So, I put some herbs, I put some uh, chilies inside so I get a little extra flavor to my, to my recipe and make it good. Alright, so now as you can see, I got my potatoes, my onions, okay, oh, here, I forgot 
some time. Put it back. Alright. So now I got my onions, I got my potatoes, so now it's time to build up the ratatouille. So what we want is to alternate basically our tomatoes with our uh, zucchini and eggplant. Alright guys, so now we gonna build up the ratatouille. So Sam, please like just uh, take the camera. Oh, you need me try now. And try, yeah. Okay. Try to get a little closer. Alright guys, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do layers of vegetables. So we're gonna alternate tomatoes. Zucchini, then eggplant, and then we're gonna go over and over. Okay? So I'm gonna do this, 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 this. Okay? So now I'm gonna build it up like this. Okay? So now I'm gonna keep going because obviously I cannot stop. Okay? So as you can see, everything's in layers. So now. What we need is some seasoning, guys, because if we don't put no seasoning, you know, it's not gonna taste like nothing, okay? So we're gonna put some seasoning first, some salt, you see? Don't be shy, don't be shy. But if you want this thing to be tasty, you better put some seasoning, okay? So we put some salt. Now we're gonna put some pepper. That's a lot. Let's put some more oil. It's a lot, but you don't know nothing, so leave me alone. Let me cook. <laughs> so now we're putting some oil okay, to make sure that this, this thing tastes good. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some of this rosemary right on top. Okay, so we're just gonna put some rosemary like this. Okay. Alright, while well, it's cooking. It's just gonna infuse all of our vegetables just like this, okay? So now, before it gets to the oven, we're gonna put some aluminium foil on top so it doesn't burn right away. Let's do it. First we put some aluminum foil, okay, and we're gonna let it cook at 200 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes, alright, let's do it. Alright guys, so now we got our ratatouille in the oven, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take care now of our sauce, so our sauce is gonna be made with some red bell pepper, some lemon, some garlic, some parsley, some white vinegar, and some olive oil, okay? Pretty simple, just a few ingredients, okay? So now what we're gonna do with the pepper, okay? We're gonna just slice it in two, because all we need is one of them, one half, sorry. So you're gonna cut it in two. There you go. Take off the seeds, that's all what we're gonna need. Then, we're gonna need some garlic, okay? So you need, for this recipe, for two, two fillets of salmon, you're gonna need about eight. So we're gonna peel them real fast. All right guys, so now I got my garlic already peeled, so I'm gonna, look, just put it in two, okay? And this little germ that I got on the inside, okay, I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna remove it. Okay, cause this thing is a little bitter, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is to remove all of them really fast. So now I removed all my germ. So what I need now is to have some big slides. So for example, those big ones here, I'm gonna cut it in two, okay? Just have it in like some big slices. As you can see, if you have some small garlic, well, you leave it whole like this. Okay, there you go. So now, our garlic is cut, okay? So you can see the size right now. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take some aluminum foil, Okay, two, two foil, I'm cover it up, I'm gonna put my garlic here, okay. then I put some olive oil and some, a lot, I like to be generous with my olive oil, okay. so now I'm just gonna close it, just like this, 
that's my garlic and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my garlic foil in aluminium foil just right there and half of my bell pepper straight to the oven so I have already my ratatouille cooking as you can see and now I'm just gonna put my bell pepper like this no seasoning nothing and my garlic like this and I'm gonna I'm gonna cook all of this for about 15 to 20 minutes, depend of how powerful is your oven. But what I have it on right now is 200 degrees Celsius, which is more or less 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna cook this for 15 minutes. All right, guys. So now it's been 15 minutes. So let's go check what's going on in our oven. Okay. So let's see. So here I got my bell pepper. You see? You think it's like brown but it's perfect because the skin is like actually brown so we're gonna take it off real real good then let's check out our garlic look at this do you see like this it's perfect so you see the oil boiling you can tell that's this garlic it's just a little golden brown so we're gonna take it off take it off the oven and just like close it and now we're gonna let it rest and it's gonna keep cooking, keep infusing with the oil. It's gonna be amazing. So now, let's, let's go back to this oven. So now we got this pepper here. Okay. So we're gonna take it off. It's a little hot, but I mean, it's okay. Let's take it out of here. So now, let's see what's going on with our veggies. Look at that. So now, it's been 25 minutes. So as you can see, it changed color already. So now we have our vegetables, okay, that cooked for 25 minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off this rosemary, give some flavor already. All of my vegetables are cooked, but what I want now is to put it back in the oven so they get a little crispy brown. They have this little nice, uh, this little nice taste, so they're gonna I mean, you're about to see what's gonna happen. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it back for about 10 minutes in the oven, okay? So this is gonna give us just the time to start cooking our salmon right there and finish our sauce. So let's put this back in the oven. All right, guys, so now we put our vegetables back in the oven. So now it's time to finish our sauce. So we have our, our pepper right there, okay? That looks kind of burnt, but you're about to see. Ooh, I take off the skin and wow, this pepper is not burnt at all. I'm just taking off the skin super easy because it burned in my oven and I don't want the skin. So, so now it's time to cut this pepper, okay? I have no more skin on it, so I'm about to just make some little cubes out of it. There you go. Now I got my little cubes, then now it's time to cut my parsley. So I'm take off, taking off a little bit of this, and then just gonna slide it, slice it. I got my parsley right there, okay? So now guys, I just wanna show you one more time our garlic, look. Can you see this garlic? Yeah. Look, you see? You can tell it's cooked. Got all this oil, okay? And we're gonna keep this oil and the garlic for our sauce. That's what we're gonna use, that's our base. So now, let's start our sauce and let's start the salmon as well. Let's do it. Okay guys, time to cook the sauce and the salmon. So what you need for the salmon is a pan, a small one because we're only cooking two uh, little pieces of salmon and then a pot to uh, finish our sauce. So on both of them, you're gonna start with a little oil. That's for our salmon. That's for our peppers right there, okay? So this pan, you want it hot for the salmon and this you want it at medium heat for uh, your sauce. So now you're waiting just a few seconds to get hot 
and once it's hot you can put your salmon what we obviously need to do guys really important we need to season this salmon so we're going to season it on both sides with some salt some pepper as you can see on this salmon i kept in purpose the skin because personally i like to eat the skin especially when it's a little crispy <laughs> so now my my pan is hot i don't know if you can see it on camera but i can see some kind of like little smoke that get out of it that means that my pan is hot so i'm just gonna start my salmon on the skin side okay I'm gonna put my plate on top. Okay? Why? And just press it a little bit. So that way, because when you cook the fish, the skin just stretch a little bit and, and your, your salmon doesn't really stick to the pan the same way on all of your salmon. So if you put some weight, it just gets flat back again. So then you can have a nice crispy skin at the end for about 20 seconds and now the skin is nice you, you lower the temperature a little bit you go back to medium heat and now you are going to keep cooking the salmon now the salmon is cooking so it's time to uh, finish my sauce so I'm about to bring my pepper, my garlic and finish the sauce Alright. So, my pot is at medium heat, I put some oil, now I'm about to put my pepper, I save my pasta for later, now I'm going to season my pepper, put some salt, some pepper, I'm just going to cook them at medium heat for about 2 minutes, okay, so I'm checking on my salmon, so as you can see, I just start cooking my salmon, on the skin side okay so now just let me show you you can start having a nice crispy skin on that side okay you can see that my salmon start cooking on the bottom of it okay but still not cooked yet still raw on top but this is what i want so now let's go back to my peppers what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this little bit of white vinegar. Alright. My pepper. Now I'm adding my little lemon. Basically what I'm doing is I'm making those peppers a little sour. Okay? So when I'm putting this on top of my fish, it's going to remind you a little taste of lemon of something like vinegary that just goes so well with fish that's why this sauce is really good with any type of fish now guys you remember my uh, garlic just right there so look that's all i'm gonna do look i'm putting my garlic inside of it super easy right so i just have my oil and now what i'm gonna do is gonna turn off the heat and my sauce is ready my God, Albie, it smells so good. Y'all, it smells so good. Oh, Jesus. All right, guys. So now this is where I'm at. Let's see what's going on in the oven. Here's my veggies. So you see, start to be a little golden brown. They're looking good. They do look good. So now, I'm going to put it back in the oven. Look at my salmon. So my sauce is ready. Look at my salmon. Just cook just right there, okay? But still raw. So I'm at medium heat. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna turn it off completely. This is off. And now I'm gonna turn my salmon. Look at this crispy skin, okay? I'm turning my salmon, flipping it. Everything is off. I have my sauce ready. My veggies are ready. So now, I'm about to start plating. Oh, my favorite part! I love the plating! Ah! Alright guys, so you see, 
it's been just one minute that I flipped over the salmon and you can see it just stop cooking here still raw in the middle it's perfect it's just this fish look just gonna rest and be really moist and juicy on the inside so now it's time to take out my vegetables out of the oven you see here are my veggies so now they're ready now I'm just gonna do chop some basil the veggies here now guys it's time to play so what we want is to keep those layers intact Very nice, Chef. It's hot, man. I'm sure. So, here we go. Let's make it look nice. Then, guys, this is live, obviously. So, look, I'm picking up my parsley because now it's time about. It's about time to put the last thing in my sauce, some parsley. Okay, there we go. So now look at this salmon. You see, still a little raw on the inside. Okay, you can tell here it's cooked. Here it's cooked. You can see the white part right there, but here it's still a little, a little raw, a little moist. That's why I like. Very nice. No. This is your sauce? Yeah. So that's my garlic with my peppers. Okay. Put it on top of my salmon. Like you're really creating art right now. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched you cook, Toby. So now, wow. my plate almost. Almost. Almost ready. Here we go. Put it in the oil. Just to finish the dish. And that's it. Here we go, we got our salmon, we got our vegetables, and I hope you guys can try to make it at home, and you're gonna enjoy it. And please, if you try guys, tag us, we want to see. If you try it at home, we want to see it, please. Yeah, that's what we want, let's finish the sauce, you know, put all the sauce. Put all the sauce, you know I like sauce, I like sauce. I like sauce. We like the sauce. Like look. That one mine. So that one mine. That one got more. This look good? Yes or no? <laughs> Let us know. And please like this video, comments, share uh, with us like what you think about this video. It was our maybe, first time. Maybe tell us what you would like me to cook. I don't know if you want some chicken, if you want some pasta, if you want some beef, if you want whatever you, you're thinking of. You know, maybe we can do a video and try to uh, make a recipe all together. Okay? So try this at home, guys. It's really tasty. And now it's time for me and Sam to, to eat. eat. Because, I mean, we're not going to throw this away, obviously. It's time. It's time. Eat. I've been waiting. Okay, guys. We're about to eat. Now, V, try so, guys, this is our meal today so let me tell you that this is a real healthy meal because as you can see you got a lot of vegetables you got some fish i mean everything was 
fresh made from scratch okay so we're about to taste this salmon mmm a whole piece of his garlic mmm so good and those veggies mmm <laughs> Okay, it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>